There are several things I would like to talk about that the Dare County Sheriff's Office does to help fight the war on drugs in our community. The Dare County Sheriff's Office has a web and Facebook page. This allows us to get information out quicker and receive information from the public. Now people can get on Facebook and email us with their problems or concerns anonymously, which is a huge asset to us. The Dare County Sheriff's Office has three canines. But we're also in partnership with one with Nags Head Police Department. These canines are invaluable in the fight against drugs and helping us seize quantities of drugs off the streets. Hey, I'm Lieutenant Tony Duvall with the Dare County Sheriff's Office. I'm in charge of the county's canine program training. Our dogs are trained to detect illegal drugs. They're also trained to detect bossed and running people. They're also trained to protect the handlers and, and apprehend criminals. And today out here we've been doing uh, some, some narcotics training. We've hit some illegal narcotics on several vehicles out here to simulate what we do on the road on a regular basis. We challenge each one of our dogs. We use different drugs, different locations all over the cars, different amounts, different quantities, different strengths, and uh, just do that to keep the dogs proficient in what they do so they can do the best possible job that we can do. Another thing we have in Dare County that we like to do is drug and gang talks. Through the drug task force members, we're able to go out into the community and give drug awareness and gang presentations that helps the, the community know what we're looking for so they can give us information if they are able to see it. If Dare County has a drug problem, it's hard to combat, and we need everyone to help us. The drug task force we have in Dare County consists of two members from the Kildover Hills Police Department, one member from the NAGSEP Police Department, North Carolina Alcohol Law Enforcement, and the State Bureau of Investigations. The Drug Task Force works well with other federal agencies such as the FBI and the U.S. Attorney's Office, which allows us the opportunity to take cases federally, which usually has stricter punishments. The impact team that we have is a three-person group that goes around to areas that have had an increase in crime to help identify any problems that they have and quickly solve those issues. The Sheriff's Office really strives to, to make sure that we're doing the right thing in communities. You know, we care about families, we care about the kids, and we've done an awful lot to make sure that they're well protected. I just want you to know, I've got officers that go really beyond the call of duty. All along, we've been pushing for community involvement. Uh, and due to what they've been telling us, we've been able to make some really good arrests. We just want to get the information out to people so they can know what to look for and get back with us. Because one agency is not going to solve the issue, two agencies aren't going to solve the issue. It's going to take a community.